Have you ever looked up at the night sky and truly deeply wondered, are we alone? What if I told you that some estimates suggest 99% of what's out there remains a complete mystery to us? Well, at this very moment, a watershed event has just taken place. Following weeks of perplexing silence and amidst escalating pressure from scientific circles and intense public curiosity, NASA and the European Space Agency have at last published the official high-definition imagery from the Mars flyby of the object known as 3I divided by ATLAS. As an individual who has dedicated the half-century 50 years to the study of theoretical physics, I must convey that these images have profoundly unsettled my grasp of what I consider to be possible. What we are witnessing in these photographs does more than just question our established beliefs about comets and interstellar bodies. It forces us to reconsider the very line we draw between natural and artificial phenomena within our cosmos. This isn't just about finding a weird rock. It's about potentially finding a tool, a probe, or something that fundamentally rewrites the book on life in the universe. The images were made public yesterday, October 24th, there was no grand announcement, no press briefing. They were simply uploaded to NASA's planetary data system in the quiet of the late evening. Almost immediately, both amateur sky watchers and professional scientists across the planet started to download the data. Uh, what they found is sent a tremor through the entire global scientific establishment. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's high-rise camera the most sophisticated telescopic lens we have positioned beyond our world, captured three I divided by Atlas during its nearest pass on October 3rd from a mere 18 million miles away. This level of resolution allows us to discern details smaller than a city block. And these details are unlike anything we have ever documented. Allow me to explain precisely why these images are so deeply unsettling. When we observe typical comets as they near the sun, we anticipate a set of familiar characteristics. A luminous central core of ice and rock, a hazy coma enveloping it, created by vaporizing gases, and possibly streams of dust erupting from active zones warmed by the sun's rays. These are the classic indicators of natural cometary activity, a phenomena we have recorded countless times. 3. I divided by Atlas exhibits none of these expected traits. That absence is the first giant red flag. An object coming from deep space should be volatile. It should be shedding ice and gas. The fact that it's not suggests it's made of something much denser and more robust, like rock or metal, or something else entirely. Instead, the high-risk imagery unveils an object that appears almost engineered in its design. The main body has a geometric regularity that natural formations should not possess. Where we foresaw the lumpy, potato-like shape common to asteroids and cometary nuclei, we are instead seeing smooth planes intersected by what can only be called deliberate-looking features. Three distinct appendages extend from the central mass at almost perfect 120-degree angles from one another, forming a tripod-like structure that defies any known process of random accretion or cosmic impact. This tripod shape is incredibly significant from an engineering perspective. It's one of the most stable configurations possible. Perfect for ensuring a platform, perhaps for instruments, remains steady. Each of these arms is roughly 1.2 miles long, and they narrow towards their tips with a kind of mathematical elegance. But this is where the findings become truly disturbing. Spectroscopic analysis layered over these images shows that the three appendages are not made of the same substance as the central body. The main structure has an albedo consistent with carbon-rich materials, meaning it absorbs the majority of sunlight and looks dark. However, those three extended arms are intensely reflective almost like mirrors. They are deflecting more than 90% of the solar radiation that hits them. That is a level of efficiency you would expect 
from polished steel or advanced solar arrays. This combination is a core analytical puzzle. A dark body absorbs heat while reflective surfaces shed it. This suggests a highly advanced functional design, perhaps for thermal regulation, energy collection, or even propulsion via a solar sail. Um, just this morning, Dr. Sarah Chen at MIT's Cavalli Institute released a detailed photometric study. Her findings are direct and inescapable. The reflectivity signature, she states, is incompatible with any known natural mineral formation. The surface is optically flawless at wavelengths down to 200 nanometers, which points to manufacturing precision of a natural crystallization. Let that idea settle for a moment. We are talking about manufacturing precision on an object that supposedly came from the vastness of interstellar space. An object that could be billions of years old, created in a star system, we might never find. As scientists, we are trained to avoid sensationalism. We always start by trying to eliminate all ordinary explanations. This process of elimination is the heart of the scientific method. We don't jump to aliens as the first answer. We are forced to consider it as the last one standing. Could these structures be some bizarre type of sublimation where solar heat sculpted ice into geometric forms? This idea quickly falls apart. At 18 million miles from Mars, uh, three I divided by Atlas is about 2.1 astronomical units from the Sunday. And the temperature there is far too low for water ice to sublimate. Surface readings are around uh, minus 238 degrees Fahrenheit. In these conditions, water ice is as hard as rock, incapable of being reshaped into these complex structures. So could it be a coincidence of um, uh, impact cratering? Once again, the numbers don't add up. The odds of three separate impacts happening at exact uh, 120 degree intervals and creating identical features are calculated at less than one in 10 million. And it's crucial to remember, these are not just surface patterns. The spectroscopic data shows that the material composition is different through and through, not just the surface stain. About 18 hours after the high-rise observation, the European Space Agency's Mars Express probe captured its own images from a different vantage point. These pictures confirm that the geometric shapes are consistent regardless of the viewing angle. This is not a trick of the light or a camera artifact. We are observing real three-dimensional structures physically connected to the main body. And now for what is perhaps the most unnerving piece of information, these reflective appendages uh, appear to be oriented directly towards the Sunday. This implies the object isn't just passively tumbling through space. It suggests active orientation, a choice perhaps to gather maximum solar energy or to position itself for a gravitational maneuver. I must now address the most obvious question, the one I am sure many of you are considering. If this evidence is so compelling, if it truly points to an artificial origin, why was its release postponed for three weeks? Why the wall of silence from NASA and ESA after the October 3rd flyby? Uh, the official reason given is the government shutdown that started on October 1st, just two days before the encounter. NASA's functions were drastically limited, public communications were halted, and data analysis pipelines were significantly delayed. But I find this explanation troubling. The high-rise camera operates automatically. It took the pictures on October 3rd, regardless of any funding issues. The data was sent to Earth, collected by the Deep Space Network, and stored. Yet, it wasn't shared until October 24th, a full three weeks later. Even with bureaucratic hurdles and image processing time, this delay seems unusually long for a discovery of this importance. I have spoken to several contacts within NASA's uh, Planetary Science Division. Unofficially, they recount strange internal meetings, debates over public perception, 
and discussions on how to present this information. They worried about causing uncontrolled speculation. One scientist uh, shared something with me that has resonated deeply. We spent three weeks, he admitted, desperately searching for a natural explanation for what we were seeing. We came up empty. This behavior isn't new. This pattern of information management is itself a story. When Oumuamua showed its mysterious acceleration away from our sun in 2018, specific spectroscopic details were held back for months. When Borisov appeared in 2019, despite looking more conventional, some of its trajectory data was not immediately released. Every time an interstellar object behaves in an unexpected way, the flow of information seems to become slower and more tightly managed. This caution might come from a genuine desire to prevent public panic, or it could signal something more profound, an institutional awareness that we are on the brink of discoveries that could forever change humanity's view of itself. Let's be perfectly clear about the implications here. If 3i divided by Atlas is artificial, if these images are showing us a constructed object from outside our solar system, it means more than just discovering that alien intelligence is real. It means we have been found. It means something was sent here with a purpose we can't yet fathom. That changes the entire game. It elevates humanity's status in the universe from a theoretical possibility to an established fact. This is no longer philosophy. It's a direct challenge to our perceived place in the cosmos a confrontation with our own technological infancy. Uh, global markets will undoubtedly be affected. Professor Loeb was not being dramatic when he spoke of potential economic turmoil. Historically, paradigm shifts of this scale always breed instability. Religious organizations will be forced to reconcile their beliefs with the reality of extraterrestrial life. Governments will be confronted with novel challenges regarding disclosure, national security, and global collaboration. The psychological effect on billions of people realizing we are not alone is impossible to predict. Yet, in the midst of this uncertainty, I find reason for optimism. Science has always advanced by facing the unknown head-on, by letting data challenge our preconceived notions, instead of trying to fit data into our comfortable worldviews. Galileo was met with hostility for showing that Jupiter had moons, but those moons kept orbiting regardless of official acknowledgement. See, the universe does not exist to satisfy our expectations or to protect our sense of importance. In precisely five days, three I divided by Atlas will reach perihelion, its closest point to the Sunday, its formation of companion objects will travel through the zone of most intense solar heat and radiation. This is the ultimate test. If these are natural structures, the thermal strain might cause them to break apart, allowing us to analyze the debris and learn their true makeup. If they are artificial, they might perform the Oberth maneuver we've theorized um, using the sun's gravity to enter a permanent orbit in our solar system. Or they might deploy their companion objects toward destinations we cannot yet guess. The Galileo Project Observatories, led by Professor Loeb, are primed and waiting. A network of facilities on six continents will be watching continuously during the perihelion pass, despite the difficulty of observing through the sun's glare. Infrared telescopes will search for heat signatures, and radar systems will track velocity changes with extreme precision. We will collect the data, we will analyze it with absolute rigor, and we will follow that evidence wherever it may lead, no matter how unsettling the destination. So what is the meaning of these new images? Are we seeing the most bizarre natural phenomenon ever recorded? A cosmic fluke so unlikely it defies belief? Or are we looking at the confirmation of interstellar engineering, an artificial probe from a civilization that could be millions of years ahead of us? The answer will begin to reveal itself in five days, but these images have already given us one undeniable truth. The universe is more strange, more intricate, and more awe-inspiring than we ever imagined. The most significant scientific breakthroughs often don't come as quiet validations of what we already know. 
but as seismic shocks that force us to rebuild the very foundations of our understanding. Whether 3, I divided by Atlas, is ultimately proven to be natural or artificial, it has already compelled us to look at the stars with renewed wonder, to challenge our own certainties, and to see ourselves once more as novices on the edge of cosmic enigmas that are far beyond our current grasp. And perhaps that realization, that humility in the face of the infinite, is the greatest gift any visitor from the stars could ever offer. The most valuable lesson three, I, divided by Atlas, teaches us, regardless of what it turns out to be, is the critical importance of humility. For centuries, we have often acted as if we are the center of the universe, the pinnacle of intelligence. This object forces us to confront the possibility that we are not... It reminds us that our knowledge is a tiny island in a vast, uncharted ocean of mystery. True wisdom isn't in having all the answers, but in being brave enough to ask the questions and to accept the answers, even if they change everything. What do you think 3i divided by Atlas is? Is it a bizarre natural wonder? Or is this the proof we've all been waiting for? Drop your theories in the comments below. I read as many as I can. And if you value this kind of deep dive analysis and want to follow this story as it unfolds, please be sure to subscribe for more updates.